Today in this video, I am going to explain the concept of minor of a square matrix. So first, I am going to start the discussion of minors of a square matrix of 2 by 2 order. That means how, what is the way to find minors of a square matrix of 2 by 2 order. So let the square matrix of 2 by 2 order is A11 a12 a21 a22 so minor of first element of this square matrix which is denoted by m11 is the element left after vanishing the row and the column in which this element lies that is if we vanish this row and this column suppose these this row and this column is not there so what is left only this element so this element is called minor of this element a22 so minor of element a11 is a22 in the same way minor of this element which is denoted by m12 is the element which is left after vanishing the column and the row to which this element belongs. So this row and this column is vanished and what is left? Only this element. So we write A21. So the minor of A12 which is denoted by M12 is equal to A21. In the same way the minor of this element that is M21 is equal to a 1 2 because this row and this column if we erase this row and this column what is left only this element so the minor of this element is this element a 1 2 minor of a 2 2 which is denoted by m 2 2 if we erase this column and this row what is left only this element so this is called minor of A22. So this is the way to find the minors of a square matrix of 2 by 2 order. Now let us discuss the method to find the minors of a square matrix of 3 by 3 order. So we have taken an arbitrary uh, matrix. The matrix A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23 and A31, A32, A33. So the minor of first element that's, that is the minor of A11 which is denoted by M11 is equal to the cross multiplication, the difference of the cross multiplication of the four elements left after erasing the column and the row in which A11 lies. That means this row and this column is are vanished. So these four elements are left. Then we have to take the difference of the cross multiplication of these elements in such a way the first product we get by this element and this element that means from top left to bottom right and minus the product of these two elements that is top right to bottom left. So A22, A33 bottom top left to bottom right minus top right to bottom left A23, A32. So, this is the minor of element A11. In the same way, minor of this element that is M12 is calculated. First, we have to vanish the column and the row in which this element lies. That means the first row and the second column are vanished. So, these four elements are left. So, we have to take the product of these two elements that is bottom, the top, uh, top 
left to bottom right a21 into a33 minus this into this a23 into a31 symbolically we show this product in this way this is the first product and this is the second product and we put minus sign between these two products so this is the way to find minors of our 3 by 3 square matrix so let's proceed m13 that means the minor of this element so first we have to vanish this column and this row so we have to think what is left these four elements are left so the cross multiplication the difference of the cross multiplication of these four in this order we have to write down this into this so that is a21 a32 minus a22 into a31 so in the same way we can we may find the minors of every element of this 3 by 3 square matrix. Now let us take a square matrix of 3 by 3 order. So we have taken this matrix 1, 3, 4, 2, 5, 4, 6, 2, 5. So to find out the minor of this element, we have to vanish this row and this column in which this element lies. Then we are left with these four elements. So we have to take the difference of the cross product of these four elements in such a way that first product should be taken from top left to bottom right and minus uh, top right to bottom left. So 5 5 is 25 minus 4 2 is 8. So M11 that means the minor of the element of first row and first column which is denoted by M11. So 25 minus 8 5 5 is 25 2 4 is 8 minus 8. Now minor of this element, the element of first row and first uh, second column that is M12. So we have to eliminate this column and this row. So we are left with these four elements. So take the product in the same way as we have taken in the case of M112, 5 is 10 minus 6, 4 is 24. Again minor of this element. So we have to elim eliminate this column and this row and these four elements are left taking cross product to 2 is 4 minus 6 5 is 30 now minor of this element that is denoted by m21 the element minor of the element of second row and first column so this row and this column are vanished in mind these four elements are left taking cross product 3 5 is 15 minus 2 2 2 4 is 8 so 15 minus 8 the minor of 5 in the same way we have to vanish this column and this row these corner elements are left so taking cross product in the same way 1 5 is a 5 and 6 4 is a 24 now minor of this element we have to eliminate or vanish this column and this row these four elements are left taking cross product 1 2 is a 2 and 6 3 is a 18 now minor of this element that is m 3 1 so we have to vanish this row and this column leaving these four elements taking cross product we take we have 3 4 is a 12 and 5 4 is a 20. Now minor of this element we have to vanish this column and this row these four elements are left we have to take cross product 1 4 is a 4 2 4 is a 8. Now finally the minor of this element so we have to vanish this column and this row in mind we have these four elements taking cross product 1 5 is a 5 and 2 3 is a 6 so simplifying these minors so again we write m11 25 minus 8 17 m12 10 minus 24 minus 14 m13 4 minus 30 that is minus 26 m21 is equal to 15 minus 8 that is 7 m22 is equal to 5 minus 24 that is minus 19 m23 is equal to 2 minus 18 that is minus 16 m31 is equal to 12 minus 20 
that is minus 8 m 3 2 is equal to 4 minus 8 is equal to minus 4 and m 3 3 is equal to 5 minus 6 is equal to minus 1. So, this is the way to find the minus of a square matrix of 3 by 3 order. Now, we have to discuss the concept of cofactors of an element of a square matrix. So, the prerequisite concept for understanding cofactor of an element of a square matrix is minor of an element of a square matrix we, uh, we have just discussed in the pre previous section. So, as you know the minor of an element minor of an element a i j is denoted by m i j where i is the road to which the element a belongs and j is the column to which the same element belongs. So, minor of Aij is denoted by Mij in the same way cofactor is uh, of Aij is denoted by Cij and cofactor cofactor of Aij which is denoted by Cij is defined as Cij is equal to minus 1 raised to the power i plus j Mij. So, if we multiply a minor by minus 1 raised to the power sum of the order of row and column of the element, we get cofactor. So, this is the definition of cofactor of an element of a matrix. So, for example, m11 is equal to 2, then c11 is equal to minus 1 raised to the power the sum of these two numbers that is 2, 1 plus 1, 2 and m11 that is minus 1 is square is plus 1 and m11 is 2. So, again we get 2. So, if m11 is equal to 2, then c11 is also equal to 2, but if m12 is equal to 3, then c12 is equal to minus 1 raised to the power 1 plus 2, 3, m12, that is minus 1 raised to the power 3 is equal to minus 1, so write minus and m12 is 3, so we get minus 3 in this way. We come to the conclusion that m11 is equal to 3 then c12 is equal to minus 3. So, if the sum of the order of the row and column is even the cofactor is exactly equal to the minor and if the sum of the order of the row and column is odd then the value of cofactor is equal to the additive inverse of the minor that is the sign of the minor is changed if it is minus 3 then c12 becomes plus 3 and if minor is equal to plus 3 then cofactor must be minus 3. So, this is the concept of cofactor of an element of a square matrix.